Good morning, everyone. A lot of you have received the news that uh, Nigeria have a, a new Chief Justice. Now, in this video, I want to tell you more about the new Acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. And by so doing that, it's also making you know that there is no hope for common man in Nigeria. Why there is no hope for everything that we have been complaining about the Nigerian judiciary, which is supposed to be the backbone of Nigeria as the hope of a common man. It has turned to the hope of the politicians. Now, do you remember that some years ago, probably that was about five years, after the Imo State uh, governorship election, Ihedioha of PDP was elected and um, Hopu Zodema went to Federal High Court. They said Ihedioha won the election. He went to the Court of Appeal. Ihedioha won the election. I don't know what happened, how they could do that. They went to the Supreme Court. When they uh, got to the Supreme Court, this lady, KK Re Echo, was uh, the one who was presiding over the, the court case. The lady manipulated the justice and now pronounced Ozodema as the winner of Imo governorship election. I think part of the problem in the Southeast is from this uh, judgment. Until tomorrow, Ozodema said insecurity in the Southeast is because of politics of bitterness. Why don't people be bitter when you feel worth the number for nobody voted for you because they know you can't represent them? And they manipulated the justice system and Supreme Court gave you mandate. The mandate of the people is different from the mandate of the Supreme Court. Now, that is not the only thing I want you to know about this woman. For you to know that the whole world knew what happened, that this lady committed evil and atrocity again against the, the people of Imo. This lady was bound not to enter United States of America. She was bound not to... She was born and brought up in London. No. She, she have a London, what is it called? United Kingdom passport. But she was stopped not to enter the United States of America. Now, let me take you through this article from Shara Reporters. It's, it reads, how Nigeria's new Chief Justice Kekere Eko was barred from entering the United States after controversial ruling on Imo governorship election. So it was written on August 23, 2024, and it reads, Justice Kudirat Kekere Eko, Nigeria newly appointed 23rd Chief Justice, subject to Senate confirmation, who delivered the Supreme Court judgment on the contested Imo governorship election on January 14, 2020, was once denied a United States visa. The article continues. According to a document obtained by the Independent in 2023, the justice was once was one of those who had notified Emeka Inyodioha's victory of the People's Democratic Party PDP and declared who puts the man of all progressive Congress APC as the rightful winner. A seven-man Supreme Court panel led by um, former Chief Justice of Nigeria CJN, Ibrahim Mohamed Tanko, issued the ruling. The court also instructed the Independent National Electoral Commission, IMEC, to revoke the certificate of return given to Inge Doha and instead issue it to Zodema, who was subsequently sworn in as Imo State's sixth governor on January 15, 2020. In a letter signed by J.M. Um, Solsen, the American consular officer in Abuja, U.S. authorities stated that Justice Kikire Ekun's visa was denied due to sanction activities. Former Cross River Governor Duna Duke had earlier mentioned on Wednesday that U.S. authorities had rejected visa application from several judges intending to attend a judges' conference in the United States. Meanwhile, Shara reporter earlier reported that President Bonner Tinubu administered the oath of office to Justice Kikere, conformally inaugurating her as the 23rd Chief Justice of Nigeria, subject to Senate confirmation. The ceremony took place at the Council Chamber of the State House in Abuja on Friday at 11.40 a.m., where Kikere Ekon signed the oath register making the marking the beginning of her tenure. Kikere Ekon will operate in acting capacity until confirmation by the Senate. The National Judicial Council at its 106th meeting um, presided over by Arewanda last week recommended Justice Kudirat Kekereko to President Tinumbu for appointment as the Chief Justice of Nigeria. On Monday, the President traveled to France for a short walking trip, according to his team, according to his team's description of the visit as a brief walk stay. 
But the president returned to Abuja, the nation capital, on Friday, August 23, 2024, following a brief work day in France. He arrived at Enam Azikri International Airport at approximately 2.25 a.m. Now, you see, this um, new chief justice of Nigeria, if it is in another country, he should maybe have sacked or has nothing to do with the judiciary of Nigeria. Someone who was barred from entering U.S. because of um, illegal activities, fake judgment, unwarranted justice passed in the favor of someone who doesn't merit it, as sentiment or as sensitive as, um, you know, election is. This woman carries somebody who is from number four, not, be, not because the election was rigged, the election was not rigged. So the case is not even about rigging of election. He took Uzodema from number four to number one. And this woman now will be the number one judge in Nigeria. We control everything about justice in Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria is in trouble. You see, when we tell people that this nation is not going to work, this nation won't work. People don't understand when we say that. Tell me, someone who has been in the blacklist of the world judges, this woman will never be allowed to enter Australia, will never be enter, allowed to enter Canada, US. Because the world knows that this woman took bribe to deliver judgment. Because up to now, people call it, you know, something that is not explainable. People call it the fake miracle of the Supreme Court. Where they made those other Those other man, till tomorrow, is being called the Supreme Court governor. This woman is the one that carried out all these activities. And she is uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria today. Can't you see that Nigeria is in a big trouble? So all these things, I think they are in preparation for the 2027 election because Nigerian our politicians, they don't, you know, they always prepare for next election. They are not ready to save the people. They are not ready for the next generation. They are not ready to tackle insecurity or what troubles the people. They are strategizing, preparing for the next election. That next election, if they don't have the vote, don't be surprised. Someone like this who brought Hopus Odema from number four to number one will also be, will be able to bring Tinumbu either from number two or number three to number one if Tinumbu did not win. But the essence of judgment is if corruption happened, rigging happened, and the evidence is presented, the judgment supposed to take, is, the justice supposed to take its course. But in Nigeria, it's opposite. It seems that in Nigeria, it's only about who has connection more, who has money more, who can buy the judiciary more. And it is so unfortunate. It's unfortunate. This will be the last time that um, a Labour governor will govern Abia State. I say it without missing word. The next governor of Abia State will be APC governor. Yeah, I say it without missing word. So we are friends, yes. Uh, we work together, yes. But I will not be number six citizen of the country and another party will govern my state. The next election of 2027, uh, the APC governor will be there. I have told him in person, I have told him publicly and privately, and that APC governor will be the next governor of our state. How it will happen, I don't know. 